and welcome back to episode two <clears throat> of our playthrough for the full release of Celasta Crown of the Magister. We are gaming with God. I am your host, Grumpy Old Dude. Episode one is compiling now for upload. It'll be another half hour or so before it's ready. And in the meantime, while it's doing that, we are going to begin episode two by leaving Care Kiflin and heading to Care Lam. Leave the area. Where's my mouse? Yes. There it is. Okay. Alright. Travel thing. Here we go. We're going to go to there. Travel settings. Interrupt when a character can level up. Always cast Goodberry spell when long rest starts. And interrupt when an item has been crafted. Here we are. And start traveling. Travel routine. Again, if you're new to the game, take your time and read those things. It's important. A heated political discussion. Politics are dangerous. Bandits, this is a planned encounter. This always comes up. You get surprised here by four bandits. Fortunately, they die easy. Shoving can push an enemy one cell away or put them down until they get up. Enemies can shove two. An enemy who is prone is easier to hit. Battle starts. Since we are surprised, they will go first. First round, we can do nothing. Unknown creature. There will be three of them to take their turn. Then Juanetta will get skipped, our wizard. Then our highwayman will take their turn. And the rest of us will get skipped. Then we'll go back to their three getting their second turn. <coughs> last. Okay, so now there are three get another round. Ah. Ah. Disadvantage. Yeah. Oh. She smacked your wizard. That was not nice. Killed the one and seriously wounded the other one. Ah, one less enemy. <sighs> Necessary. Oh. Okay, got him. Now let's pilfer from him. Bip. And now my paladin is encumbered. Let's see here. My ranger can pick up. 84, so 31 and a half pounds before she's encumbered. And that's like 32. <laughs> okay. Yep. 
There we are. I'm actually going to put those there with the other ingredients. 84, 84. So she can't pick up anymore. My cleric can take 30, 39.4. So 39.4. There is 10, 20, 30. Thirty-six, thirty-nine, ninety-five, six. I say, yep. Take point four pounds. Okay. Now everybody's loaded back up. We will finish our long rest. She will heal, courtesy of the long rest. So I don't need to throw a spell on her to heal her. <clears throat> Here we go. And now they resume traveling. Gained six food rations. Monetta finished the scroll of magic missiles. Monetta will start another scroll of magic missiles. all the food they found. Here we go. Resume. Peter has finished crafting a scroll of healing. Potion of healing. Cedric has finished the potion of healing. Cedric will now start on a scroll of healing. And we resume. One that have finished the scroll of magic missiles starts on another one. Care Lamb. <coughs> Excuse me. Dodging is a powerful defense, even if it uses your main action. Enemies have disadvantage on hitting you for the remainder of your turn. Disadvantage uh, inflicts like a minus five or minus six uh, on, on the to hit roll. It's not insignificant. It's, yeah, I'm not exactly sure. So There's that's Kerlem. We're almost there. It's just up the hill. It's a little too quiet, don't you think? We're in the marches, so quiet can't be trusted. True. Let's keep our eyes open. Okay. And now we will switch to cautious movement. What's that smell? Oh, he has no ammo. Not yet split. There we go.
smacks him. And inches his way up to there. Moneta. There. Hey! Got him. And stayed hidden. Next is my ranger. I'm dead. And then my cleric. Got him. So two of the goblins are dead right off the gut, right off a of jump street. Now then we'll move up to there. Ready for a ranged attack. We'll move up behind this barricade. Ready for a canter attack. see anything yet. Stands ready for the ranged attack if something presents itself as a target. And our cleric will do the same thing. Move up. Stand ready with a ranged attack. Can't. the next barricade. It says stand ready with a cantrip attack. He's hidden. <laughs> Hunter's mark, make it easier to hit. Cedric.
comes up and says stand ready with a ranged attack. Peter. Folks are still hidden, so they don't know who to attack from where. What went wrong there? for nine and then ran away. Killed all the goblins. Well, not all the goblins. Where did those goblins come from? Some hole in the mountain, I guess. And all those goblins. Yeah, we pill for all the goblin goodies. Yeah, that looks like it. Nope, there's one in the bag right there. Okay, so now how's our weight look in here? We are 3.8 pounds overweight. You can take 0 0.2. <laughs> you can take 0 0.8. So you can take 20. There's that. Uh, she has six arrows. Make it seven. There we go. Okay. Uh, 
Now we're going to need to continue up here because this will actually make sense here in a minute or two. If you played this, you're asking yourself, why are you skipping? I'm not skipping. I'm going to come back to it in just a minute. Uh, my ranger is my sneaky type. This is not locked. It's a Kier Lam and you cut seat. Yeah, I what's left of Kier Lam? About this. There's no one here. Not even corpses. Look! That tower! That's insane! Amazing! Classic Timarian architecture. I read about that, you know. It just ended up here after the cataclysm. Incredible. Anyway, we have a mission. One second to check something here. Yeah, it's still got four more minutes to go. Okay. Let me come over to here. I want my ranger. And my cleric. Why do I want You're cleric? impressively fit. I can't get there. Okay. Cleric there. Ranger there. Cleric is going to cast a spell. Guidance. For a short while, it will give my ranger a boost on her skill checks. I've had them fail to open these chests. There's two of them here. Hmm. That there. 84, 9, 84. Oh. Here we are. And put the extra arrows here. All right. And all four of them there, good. I want them up here. And I want my reading ah. there. Ah. And my cleric behind her. Why is my ranger showing overweight? Lot 84 has 84. She is not encumbered. Shouldn't be encumbered anyway. There. Now she's not encumbered. Why is it showing me encumbered? Okay, cleric says. As now it says, unencumbered. Picks that lock. And 
and everybody is still unencumbered. Good. Now we come back down the hill. These tracks right here. this for just a minute and be right back to you. Okay, we're back. Episode 1 is uploading to YouTube now. It'll be a little over two, maybe two and a half hours and that'll be published. And in the meantime, we are going to continue here with Episode 2. We are going to go into the Lair of Filth, a.k.a. Goblin Town. Undignified, but necessary. Damn, it stinks! We, we should, should be, be cautious, cautious from, from now, now on. on. Great minds thinking alike there. The game gives you hints. We should be cautious from now. That means go subtle. Use power. Lay on hands. Heal up. Okay, there are things up above here that could be knocked down and trap us. We don't want to stand underneath those for any length of time. We want to be aware of them. Okay, now let's see here. Okay. 
there. I'm getting uh. a measure of this. into her heart for 10 hit points. Lead ways to them. Okay, the ranger. Go around and pilfer all the dead stuffs. Pilfer all the goodies from the dead stuff. Huh? Yeah. Huh. Just take a few minutes. <laughs> no big deal. Definitely overburden. Cure wounds, go to the clerk. Scroll to sleep, go to there. He can take 1.4 pounds. She doesn't have anything that weighs 1.4 pounds. Yeah, something that weighs a pound. He can take 0.9 pounds. She can take not quite 10. 3, 6, 9. That's about the extent of it. Okay. Now we head on out of here. Let's 
Except I have my ranger overburdened, and of all the characters I don't want overburdened, it would be my ranger. And she is 22 and a half pounds overburdened. I don't like it either. You're going to head back to Care Kithlin to sell a bunch of this stuff. Instead of using the scavengers and only getting a small percentage of what it's worth, we're going to haul ass back to Care Kithlin and sell our own cells. <clears throat> now, the uh, advantage, the real purpose behind doing that is to create more opportunities for random encounters and experience points and leveling. Yep. That's the real reason for doing it. Okay, cast a spell. Cure light wounds. I am in your debt, you my go. friend. Nope, I'm going to do something else first. Let's check my status on crafting. Busy? Not busy and not able to. Busy? And busy. Okay. So my crafting is underway. Yes. And we will leave that area. It will now load up the travel map. And we will go back to Kier Kiflin. Go. Party did not find any food. That doesn't matter. I'm a ranger. We'll cast good berry. Here's that. Potion of healing. Uh, Peter did a potion of healing. That's done. He'll do another one. And then I finished the scroll of magic missile. Guess what? She will do. Nope, she won't do another one. I'm out of magnesium. Okay. Cedric finished the scroll of, scroll of cure wounds. And he won't do another one because I'm out of magnesium. Okay. Peter has finished his potion of healing. And he will not do another one because I'm still out of magnesium. Okay. Switch to cautious mode when exploring. You'll be slow, but better able to notice traps and footsteps. Footsteps should probably say footprints. Because we are going back into town so we can sell this dead weight. And there we go. Okay, so we're going to come over here to Gorum's Emporium. Gorum Iron Sight. 
Welcome to me. Gorim's Emporium. Before I do that... We should go. Before I do that, I doubt that I have anything to worry about right now, but just to get into the habit, let's detect magic and see if anything that I found needs to be identified. The magic glows. If it has not been identified, or needs to be, then there would be a question mark up here in the corner. And that's a negative. I didn't think there was. But it's better safe than sorry. Now... did there was I switched him from the crossbow to um, to the short bow. I think I want to keep one back. Too much food. Welcome. Show me your wares. None. I, I get nothing for selling food. Okay. That's a change. <laughs> so we'll come over to our storage chest here. Let's see, that is five. Nine, 13, 17 foods. I don't need 17 foods. That's none, that's none. That's four. Five, six, seven, twelve. There. I think you have to have twelve to leave town. Now we will come over here to the magic place.
And put the wizard in there. I have 184 is all. And there's 183. Another push to healing. Nothing there. Another push to healing. Another scroll of magic missile. And now we will go back to Kier Kiflin. Or Kier Lam. We are at Kier Kiflin. Now we will go back to Kier Lam. Go. Oh. Find six food. So we would gain two because we'll eat four night except to we'll cast cast good berries, so we end up gaining six foods. There's another school of magic missile. Boy, those are coming quick, aren't they? She now has four of them. That's not enough. Peter has finished a potion of healing. Finishes another scroll of magic missiles and begins yet. A, what am I out of now? Out of Galvan Amaranth. Okay. As we are now back to Kirlam. combat you can move normally and then dash as your main action to go twice as far so you can cover ground in a hurry if you need to here we go back up the mountain of care lamb up the hillside Extraneous weight's been done away with. Here we go. There's definitely been fighting here. Why did we take this job again? Oh yeah, these lovely council badges. This is no time for jokes. Right, whoever did this could still be around and we don't want them hearing us. We should look for survivors. 50 people can't just vanish. Did you see that? Someone's hiding inside the tower. It's a trap. The goblins killed everyone it's and now it's our turn. Or it's a trap. they're the survivors and they're being cautious. We need to get up to that door. If they slaughtered the garrison, they'll pay. Back off! No closer! 
Who's there? We're not letting you in. And we're not coming out. Is Captain Henrik there? We need to talk to him. Don't you dare speak his name, you filthy bastard. Don't talk to them. They'll cast a spell on you. Don't touch me. Clearly, this distressing experience has affected their reason. Let's get to the door. Maybe if they can see us up close, we can show them our council badges. Okay. What's this? I believe this was called a minor imperial gate. At its height, the Manakalan Empire had countless gates like this to magically travel through the Empire. I don't suppose it still works. Some say there are still functioning gates. And this plaque? Any value? Maybe. The Tower of Knowledge? Why not? Alrighty, take the black. I'm seeing a trap. as they say. That sucked. Continue around the corner here. Over here. 
push that out of the way. Ah! Calm down to here. Uh. Oh. Like a slinky, they all go over at the same time. In the oh. same spot. Wait, a trap. Dangerous arrow. Check my recording time now. Be right back. Yep, we are at 72 minutes or 73 maybe. So I'm thinking this is a good time to uh, break off episode two and get all ready to do episode three. Get these wow. folks into one position here. There we go. We'll pause that. Uh, again, folks down below, uh, make comments. Tell me what I'm doing that you like. Tell me what I'm doing that you don't like. Uh, if you don't, I won't know what changes I need to make to make these videos more appealing and more enjoyable for you, more informative. Uh, click that like button. That's how I gain a, a purpose in doing these. And if you would subscribe, that way when I post new content, you'll get notified and you won't miss anything. Do take care of yourselves. Have fun between now and the next time we see each other, whenever that is. And until then, stay the hell off my lawn. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye. Yep, looks like I made a mistake. I'm at 56 minutes, not 72. So we're going to keep going a little bit longer here. And yeah, click that play button again. Let's slinky him on a curb. Yeah. How come only two of them went? I thought I had all four of them selected. There we go. <laughs> Let's get everybody over here. They're here. You damn here. Sorax. Sorax? Did they say Sorax? You yes, can't be serious. Sorax are a legend for scaring children. You bastards took the captain, but you won't take us. Don't talk to them. Oops. Uh, let's see. So, sleeping in the beds of Manakalan, are you? What? What was that? Just fishing. Give it a moment. Magic pillows give us sweet dreams. Piece of cake. Good. I'm opening. No! I said no! Thank you for letting us in. Don't thank me. Are you in charge here? Lieutenant Beryl Stonebeard, second in command, after Captain Henrik. So you really believed you were attacked by Sorax? Men-sized lizards who speak? Oh yeah, they're real. But we found no corpses, nothing. We know. They took all the bodies, ours and theirs, so no one can prove they exist. Excuse me. That's no awkward. proof. That's kind of awkward. You won't laugh when they come back. We got here without trouble. Then they let you in. And now you're trapped with us. Why would they do that? How should I know? They're Sorax. Might we have a little chat with your comrades in arms? As long as you don't try anything clever. We're good. Alrighty. here. This part has not changed much at all, if it, if it has. And the goodies we uh, pilfer from there. Ooh. A long bow instead of a short bow. That's always preferred. There's some more crossbow bolts for the door. The cleric. 
Let's see. Not over in our weed lot yet, so we're good on that. Here we go. And now let's talk to Dalyat Sunbird. I might have a better chance with this guy alone. What exactly is it between you and him? I used to work in an embassy, learned a few tricks. He doesn't strike me as the diplomatic type. Come on, trust me. I saw a Whisperer's code carved in the door. How do you know the code? I used to work for Delanim at the embassy near the New Empire border. I see. I'm supposed to kill anyone who knows those words and isn't a Whisperer. I'd appreciate it if you didn't kill me, though. We'll see. So, just to be sure, is any of this part of your business, or...? Wiping out a whole garrison just to get myself trapped with this bunch? No, that wasn't my plan. So, Sorax? Really? What can I tell you? They looked just like the stories say. So, big walking lizards with spikes all over their backs? Except for the one who looked just like your captain, of course. The captain betrayed us. They knew everything about our security. Was he one of them all along, do you think? Even hiding their bodies is in the stories. Think they're still around? Possibly. Any idea what they're after? No. Right. They'll want to talk to you. Mm, fine. Mm, fine. He's all yours. So who are you, friend? Daliat Sunbird Scout. Do you believe they were Sorax? Dunno. Seemed real, though. What do you think they wanted? To kill us all. Not big on talk, eh? I'm having a pretty bad day. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna rest now. How about you? Did you learn something? Not much. He thinks the Sorax are real, too. So much for your secret code. Sorry to disappoint. Okay, we'll come down here. Talk to Elizabeth Townsend. Folks my age will look like Miss Elizabeth. Now it's my turn, right? What do you mean? What is this? A murder investigation? Should, it be? Should we be investigating? Maybe. Speak up then. Well, let's say this all happened after a certain expedition. Speak up without fear, friend. The scouts. They came back from a raid into the Badlands, found a ruin, came back with loot. The next day, this happens. Coincidence? You tell me. Only one of them still alive. Daliat. She does not like Daliat. Does not like Daliat at all. Roll of daylight and a potion which needs to be identified. Greetings, soldier. Hi, name's Rubar Sharp. I gather you're a veteran of long standing. Yeah, but I'm not in charge, mind you. This Lieutenant Stonebeard, is she up to the job? Clearly not. Look around. Losing the captain broke her. What do you think of Daliat? Never liked him. He's hiding something. He's been nervous since we came back from the Badlands. But it'd be no good picking a fight with him now. I understand. How about Lisbeth? You're her superior? Good woman. Strong, brave. You can trust her with a sword. That's worth something in my book. 
So what do you think we should do? For starters, not waiting here for the Sorax to come back and off us. But Stonebeard says stay, and she's an officer, so... Yeah, she's a stubborn one. And mutiny's a bad look on a soldier. You could talk to her, deputy of the council and all. So if we find a way, you're with us? I'm with myself, but don't let that stop you. Right. We need to make a decision here. I'm shocked by the thought that Sorax might be real. We have enough to make our report to the Council, so let's get going. If we don't help them, they'll either die or kill each other. Let them. Besides which, Could be your orders to the Council to So everyone has an opinion, back. but what are we going to do? And what about Daliat? We've got some pretty worrying hints about him. What if he really is hiding something important? We need to talk to him and find out the truth. We need to talk. Do we? Do we? <laughs> Word is you took part in an expedition to the Badlands. That's what we do here. The Sorax attacked after you came back. So what? I brought them here? Listen, colleague, you can trust me. You, maybe. But the others? Did you bring something back? We always do. Like the scavengers. Ask Sharp. He has tons of things brought back from there. But maybe this time you took something special. <laughs> it's nothing of value to Sorax. Show me, colleague. No. Cedric. Show us, or we'll help ourselves. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, so now we're gonna attack now, yet, huh? Ah. This is a new one. You've got some explaining to do. Dayat was hiding this from you. That's probably why they attacked. He refused to let it go, despite the danger. I'm not surprised. That's it? So when it's your turn to be killed, I should just say that? Elizabeth! Surely prevail. Ah! 
You're just lucky. You're kidding me. I trained hard for this. Here we go. Elizabeth. I'm sorry. I should have. Stay with us, brother. We're not the enemy. Sorax. Right. Who's crazy now? We must alert the Council. We need to get out of here. That's what we need. Look at that skin. It's unbelievable. He came from here. Look. What's this? A secret passage? From Imperial times. That was just a scout. More will be coming. They're here. They're coming back, outside. We need to go. Take your stuff. Into the secret passage before it's too late. Yes, let's go back into the passage he came out of. Okay, here we go. Ah! All right. Okay, now ready to call this an episode. Here we go. Pause that. Now I'll get this all combined, compiled, and then uploaded to YouTube. Uh, while that's happening, I will come back and begin recording episode three. In the meantime, as I said 15 or so minutes ago, make comments down below, gang. Let me know what you do and don't like about what I'm doing. I can make adjustments and how I'm doing this to make it better for you, okay? If you're not enjoying it, it's kind of pointless. Uh, click that subscribe. Give me a like if you would. That way YouTube's happy with what I'm doing. I will see you in the not too distant future. Between now and then, stay off my lawn. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.